Hey guys, Mike from Under the Carolina Sky again. Uh, it's about a quarter after seven and I still got a couple of miles to go. I'm back up in Morrow Mountain. But check out this pack. Look at all this stuff I'm carrying. I will never make fun of my wife for bringing too much stuff on a trip again. Whew, this is ridiculous. One overnight trip. Golly. And my tripod's messed up. All the nuts and bolts have fallen out of it, so that's that. Things are already getting pretty dark out here. And I got a ways to go yet. I don't particularly care for setting up camp dark, but I'll do it if I have to. There's a deer right straight ahead. You know, people are always asking me, man, what do you want to go out in the woods for all by yourself without any way to communicate or talk to anybody? Well, man, we did it when we were kids. We didn't have cell phones when I was growing up. We wandered away from the house for miles, even until after dark. And, you know, we were okay. We figured out a way to, to get home and find out where we were at. So, uh, Man, it's been an uphill climb, I'll be honest with you. I'm about ready to find camp. Can I say thank you to all of my subscribers? And um, especially my new subscribers, man, I'm telling you. I think I've gained about 30 new subscribers just in the last two weeks. And, and you guys are just awesome. Your comments on my hikes and the little adventures, you know, that I take, which may not seem like much to most people, but 
it's very much appreciated to me and the response that you've been giving me uh, about your thoughts and your prayers toward my dad since his uh, stroke on Father's Day has been very much appreciated. Thank you so much for that. Um, keep the prayers and the thoughts coming because he he still needs them and my my whole family does. My mother needs prayer. Um, and uh, my sister, bless her heart, my brother's in Florida, they're taking care of her and my sister-in-law and my sister-in-laws, I guess I should say. Man, there's just so many people. <laughs> And um, I'm stuck up here in North Carolina. I'd like to be there, but just can't be right now. But uh, Lord willing, in the next couple of weeks, I'll get down there on a the weekend. Um, I think something's in the works for that right now. <laughs> so happy about that. So maybe I'll get a chance to get down there and see my dad. But thank you to all of my new subscribers and to all of my subscribers. And I did want to mention that I am going to have a 100 subscriber giveaway. <laughs> That's coming up. Um, I'll be making that announcement this weekend, so everybody stay tuned for that. I know it's a little bit late, but um, it's going to be a good one. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. And I've got another special video that I'm going to share with you um, that I'll talk about a little bit later on. So anyway, yep, I'm going to get on down here and try to find camp before dark. <laughs> got about another half a mile to go and then I will finally be at my destination I hope according to my calculations <laughs> we'll see y'all just hang with me I think this is my campsite for tonight Like there's a little stream over here. And there is, it's right down there. You can't see it, but there is. I'll get water from that in the morning. Got enough for tonight. All right, let's get camp set up. Ha, 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 ha. 
It's almost dark. It's a little after 8.30. There's camp over there behind me. Whew. Got a little sweaty. I'm going to try to film after dark. I don't know if I'll be able to do it or not. I forgot my Lucy light. Left my Lucy light, my solar powered light in the truck. And I had it on the dash. Had it charging. Forgot it. So just going to have to get by with my headlamp tonight, which is fine. Doesn't matter. It'll be all right. So. Well, there goes my selfie stick. It just broke. So not only do I have a broken tripod, but now I've got a broken selfie stick. So I guess that's no more dollar store uh, selfie sticks. So I think now I'll uh, try to get my headlamp on and see if I can't get ready to get a fire going and drink some water and maybe have a snack and I'm going to go hang my food bag, bag up about 100 yards away. So. Put a tarp up just in case it rains. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a pink light to the left, and then blue and green in the middle, and then yellow off there in the distance. Those are your uh, your little night lights that you snap and shake up. The little stick lights. Got four of them for a buck at the dollar store. So I figured I'd hang those around camp tonight since I forgot my Lucy light. So other than that, only light is the fire until that goes out. And then the moon, which you can see right there through the trees. And it is absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. All I can hear are the sounds of nature. I love it. What was invisible to our eyes was plain as it could be to our hands. Alongside the run, there was a double wall of grass that had come back up after being trampled. But the grass in the run itself was permanently pushed down or worn away entirely. We traced the run to others, and within a couple hours, we had, the main, we had main roots established, and we had found his favorite feeding grounds. All we had to do now was wait. We lay at the side of the run leading to his favorite eating place and put our faces right next to the path. Then we wove grass up along our faces and tied it over our heads so that we looked through a parted curtain of grass onto the run. We had to wait another two hours, but eventually the rabbit king came down the trail that almost touched our noses. There's my food bag. That's where it'll stay till morning.
Good morning. Like my daddy used to say, rise and shine, it's worky worky time. Can I get up and make some breakfast? Make some coffee. And then we'll break camp and we'll head for the other side of the park. Well, you know it's been said and the story's told You can get what you want or you can just get old When will you realize the wilderness waits for you?
time to convert this overnight pack into a day pack and hit another trail.